What is up guys? Today I want to talk to you about, uh, I've had a lot of people ask me how did you even get started airbrushing because I got a lot of interest in airbrushing and I'm going to do some tutorials on the airbrushing as I showed you in the live feed uh, just the other day. If you haven't caught that live feed, I did a gray wood grain uh, American flag tumbler. It's pretty cool if you enjoy that sort of thing. So how I got started airbrushing. Let's start a little while earlier. I've always been able to draw. I've always been artistic. I used to sit for hours and hours just drawing comic books. That's kind of how I trained my hand. And if you want to get some practice training your hand, just uh, trace. I know a lot of people say, well, tracing's cheating, but you got to get that hand to your eye, to your mind. You got to get them all synced up, and tracing is the best practice for that. It helps you uh, get your arm motion to what you're seeing and help you with your proportions. So after high school, everybody's trying to figure out what they want to do. I, I always wanted to be a uh, like an animator for Disney or something. I think that's every kid's dream who can draw. and but high school got around and I decided, well, you know what, I'm gonna go uh, design cars. So straight after high school, I went all the way to the other side of the country, to San Francisco, and I enrolled in the uh, Academy of Art. And my major was gonna be automotive industrial design. That's a fancy way of saying, hey, I draw and design cars. But that's a little too soon, right after high school, to go all the way that far away from home. So I was like, mm, I'm not, I'm just not really digging this. And when I graduate, my job options were I could work in LA, I could work in Detroit, or I could work overseas. At that time, that was the only real options for car designers. So I stayed there for a year and I was like, yeah, I don't think this is for me. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna go back home. Y'all buy me one of those airbrush things and I'll do like t-shirts at the mall and uh, we'll go from there so that Christmas I got an airbrush and so I went to the local you know you gotta figure out what am I gonna practice on buying a bunch of shirts and practicing is expensive so just get some kind of paper so uh, my mom owned a daycare and they were able to get uh, unprinted rolls of newspaper from the local uh, newspaper print shop so I got a whole un printed roll of newspaper and I mounted it up and I'd airbrush on it, do tons of practices and designs and I'd unroll it and do it again and my neighbor at the time had a motorcycle and this is the time that the Orange County Choppers was just starting up. He's like, hey man, why don't you put some flames on my motorcycle? Whoa, whoa, hold on, no, 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 no. I'm not going to mess up your motorcycle. He said, ah, don't worry about it. I can paint it over and fix it if we mess it up. So I got doing some research. I had some people, a guy that had a kid at my mom's daycare. He redid old muscle cars and uh, he gave me some tips on the process. I was like, all right, check this out. He introduced me to the, you, I still use it. You see me use it in my video, my green fine line tape that is so skinny and it curves. You, you do that mainly for doing flames and stuff and taping off. Uh, you see me use it a lot of times in my videos. But uh, he introduced me to fine line tape and I went back and I taped off the flames and we, we sanded it, prepped it all like we're supposed to. And I sprayed a little nice little fade from a white pearl to a teal. And we took the tape off and we sprayed the clear coat on it and it looked amazing. I was like, holy cow, I could probably do this and make some money. So that's how I started airbrushing. That was probably like 15 years ago. And I've just been airbrushing ever since. And just this past year, you know, as a lot of you know, I decided to make it my full-time gig. I just took a leap of faith and quit my job at the, I worked at a chemical plant where they made plastic, like bottles and stuff. So it's not too good for you. But that's how I started airbrushing. I have learned a lot of tips a lot of tricks, a lot of uh, cool uh, shortcuts, I guess you'd say. I guess that's what a tip and trick, like a trick is on the airbrush. And I'm going to show you guys in an upcoming video. I just bought the airbrush that I recommend to you guys as a starter airbrush. So that should be interesting. So keep watching. Hope you enjoyed this. And goodbye. God bless.